The moment that it hit me was that I was contributing to a, a massive effort that could potentially change the world was when we saw the first data on the number of African-Americans and Latinos who were in the trial. And when I saw those numbers come out, I screamed to my husband and said, look at the numbers, it's working, it's really working. When I was first approached about uh, joining the effort to make sure that the COVID-19 trial was diverse. I was at my dining room table because that is my office these days. I was thrilled because some of the challenges that we always face when we're working with historically disregarded groups is that they're not brought into the conversations. And if they are, they're brought in much too late. Our partner in particular, Dia de la Mujer Latina, and the guidance that we got from uh, the leader of this organization was be very careful with the words that you use to describe clinical trials. In our materials, we kept saying ensayos. Uh, and what that means is basically to be uh, a guinea pig, if you will, uh, loosely translated. And what she told us was you need to use estudios, clinical, that's clinical study, which is a better word. So we owe so much to all of our uh, partners and the Multicultural Health Equity Collective that give us that type of guidance that we just didn't have before. I come from super humble beginnings and I really just feel like I owe ancestors who came before me who worked so hard to make sure that I would have opportunities to be uh, a vice president at Pfizer. My husband also works at Pfizer uh, and we have two kids and they get to see mom and dad up early. They get to see us on calls and it makes them more curious. They're at the table. My son is saying, oh, put me in a clinical trial, I'll do it. But it's these type of conversations that allow your children to dream. Then it could build hope in the next generation. Young kids who never heard of Pfizer, who never understood what a vaccine could do, maybe they'll become interested in science and STEM careers. Um, I just want it to be so much more than just about ending the pandemic. I want it to be about creating a new start for how we work together globally and how no one gets left behind.